Uh, regarding the efforts to clean uh, and lift the siege, to bring about an end to the terrorist attacks, uh, our government is extremely concerned about what now has become a very extensive pause in the NATO and Rapid Reaction Forces uh, efforts to bring an end to these terrorist attacks and to the siege. We very much welcome the view of the French government that these two processes must run in parallel but are not directly related and that the effort to lift the siege of Sarajevo to open up the town is an effort that must be undertaken through the necessary measures as long as those who oppose this are not willing to be more forthcoming. Uh, so we, of course, look forward uh, to the continuation of the peace effort, to continuation of the effort to bring an end to the siege. In this context, though, I must express the view of our president, who has indicated that uh, he will reconsider the further participation of our country in the negotiations as long as similar efforts, necessary efforts, are not undertaken through NATO or through the United Nations and the Rapid Reaction Force to bring an end to the terrorist acts and to the siege of Sarajevo. Uh, let me finally thank the French government, in particular, the courageous administration of President Chirac for the changes that they have helped bring about in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Certainly, uh, without this change, things would be uh, much worse off. And despite the fact that we feel that now we must re-energize the effort, renew the effort for both peace and for the ending of the siege, um, President Chirac, Minister de Charette, and others uh, obviously continue to earn our thanks. Um, I don't wish to start out on a bad note, but I'm not sure there will be a Geneva unless there's a continuing effort to lift the siege. Uh, we are prepared to continue uh, with Geneva as long as there's a simultaneous effort to bring an end to the siege, to remove the heavy weapons or neutralize them. Thank you very much.